Virginia's Department of Social Services is now investigating a daycare and two fired workers, one accused of taking Instagram pictures of children and the other making Instagram, Instagram comments on those pictures. But this problem isn't just privacy violations. The pictures were making fun of the toddlers. Sending your side's Andy Fox tracked down one of the workers today as our camera was rolling, a story you will see only on 10. Yeah, Nicole and Tom, a lot of people have reached out to us on this story. We found out who Ms. Janae really is. She was fired because she violated the daycare policy, taking a camera into a daycare classroom, taking the camera in there. She didn't mind putting children on the Internet with the pictures, but she sure didn't want to appear on camera herself. I was concerned about my child, and I was just hurt because I... I trusted them with Ethan. Melissa Jordan's two-year-old son, Ethan, can run all day long, doesn't sit still, energetic ball of fire. He also has delayed speech development. Yeah. I feel betrayed, like. You paid them. I paid them, yeah. Child. I paid them to humiliate you... my child. Betrayed because Ethan's picture, looking so sad sitting in a high chair, was posted on Instagram by an employee of the daycare center he goes to. Posted by Ms. One of a Kind, she posted a second picture of Ethan writing, I'm sick of this blank. And she posted this picture of another child whose teeth she thinks resemble Mater from the movie Cars. Today, we're learning more about Ms. One of a Kind, who posted the pictures. Her name is Janae Farrell, and we tracked her down at her Newport News apartment. I'd like to talk to you. Please, I just want to talk to you about the Instagram. She says, not Please. with that camera. We're learning more about the daycare center, a heavenly haven learning center, too. We uncovered this March 20th inspection report with 10 violations, including did not update background checks every three years, did not ensure TB tests, did not ensure references are completed prior to employment. The social services inspector works here, but refused to return four phone calls. We called the Virginia Department of Social Services in Richmond. They emailed back. Regarding a Heavenly Haven Learning Center, too, we have received information relating to the allegation and have initiated an investigation. Yesterday, we confronted Heavenly Haven's operator, who says she fired Farrell and a manager. Your employees are making fun of the children here on Instagram, and I want to talk with you about that to find out what you think about this. Oh, well, have you seen this? I that this young it. man and, is and made this, her? Right, and she has been fired. And that's all I can say about well, it. And late this afternoon, the Department of Social Services sent this corrective action report from Heavenly Haven. On it, operator Juanita Brown shows what she has done or will do to correct the violations. And you can see this and the March inspection report online at wavy.com. I'm Andy Fox. 10 on your side.